I think my biggest challenges have been um, to balance um, work life and personal life. But I think I've been very lucky to have great mentors and great sponsors. I think it's very important for you to choose, choose very early on and very wisely your mentors. It doesn't have to be a woman. You know, my best mentors are men. And I think on a personal life basis, I think it's been very important to have a balance and to choose the right spouse. And, and to, you know, I couldn't have done what I have done so far, when it, um, I could have done anything, I guess, without the support of, of having a true relationship at home that I could balance. And I'm a firm believer that um, sometimes women, you know, there's definitely barriers that we still have to overcome, but sometimes we, for social reasons or other reasons, impose certain barriers. And because society imposes us and we're just afraid to, to take on those challenges, and I'm a b believer that in today's society, you know, we're, you know, some of those barriers that, cult that society and culture puts on us are just not there anymore and that we should not be afraid to follow our passion into work and to follow our passion and have family, that's what we want to have, and that there are no rules about having a family or not having a family or making choices. I think if I want to give somebody a lesson is don't um, Settle. Make the decisions that you want. For me, it was very important to have a family and to have work, but that's because it was important to me. That's not a judgment on anybody, and as such, I don't think, and I wasn't, um, I, and I didn't want to settle for having, for, for giving up on any one of the two. Um, and I think for women tomorrow, I think that they're, that's my, the best advice I could tell them is, you know, follow your passion, whatever that is, and don't be afraid of going for it or don't be afraid of, of that, that there will be barriers. There will be, but, but the more of us that they're out there and the more that we do, the less barriers I think you'll see in the future. I think so. I think so. I think, I think that, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, especially in organizations and in companies, you know, you know, it's people I've understood that it's good business to have a woman's opinion. I mean, we're some of the people that, you know, historically do the purchasing and that do different, um, that are, you know, in the marketplace or, or make decisions in the home and whatnot. And I think people have come to the conclusion that that opinion is not only important, but that it's actually valuable for business. And, and that's for different sectors. In the legal sector, I think we bring something to the table that's different than our male colleagues and that it's just as important from a value-added perspective. I think society has, you know, evolved and just because you're a mother and just because you're a wife, your opinion isn't as diminished as maybe it was 20 or 25 years ago when people just didn't give you the chance to express it. Um, from that perspective. And I think today, I think people have, you know, companies that are, um, have learned to value it and, and seek it. You know, I think the value of it is, I think the more, for certain, every time I go, I learn something. You know, I didn't speak today because I wanted to listen to other people's stories. And I think that's very valuable in the process. And I think as we take turns sharing stories from those of us who are now leaders in our field, I think it, you know, in a small, pa in a small way, each time, there, we don't know who we speak to in the audience, but it gives somebody either a solution to overcoming a barrier or explains that that challenge is not only particular to them, but it's also shared by other people and that, you know, gives them a little bit of light as to how to kind of overcome it. And what I like about the way the, the form that the council has is, is that we're not only addressing the mentorship from the, you know, the role model from today's leaders in the marketplace, but also talking to the next generation in conjunction with them because they're living in a, you know, they're starting out in a world that's different than the ones that we did and kind of working together with them to put best practices out there for women in the workforce and what are the things that we can each do with each other um, to help advance and the empowerment of women throughout the Americas. I think these types of debates are very important. I think, you know, to we, the way that the council has organized it between 
government, not-for-profits, for-profit, you know, services sectors, bankers, lawyers, you know, advertising, and a number of issues. I think the it's the diversity in the experience that I think is unique to the to the format that we have, and also addressing the generational thing and working with the next generation and having them express their thoughts and their challenges. I think is very helpful. So I hope we continue doing this, and I hope we continue expanding and bringing women. Um, to the forefront.